Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. So today I'm going to talk about camera types and what camera is right for you. Now, obviously if you go to a camera shop, they're going to sell you the most expensive thing that's out there. They're going to tell you everybody's using this and they're going to try to get you to buy it. But here's the problem. If you don't carry the camera with you, if you're not comfortable carrying it, there's no sense buying it. If you're not comfortable using it, there's no sense getting it. So the most expensive may not be the right one for you. I always tell my students, the camera that you carry with you is the best camera that you could have because having an expensive camera sitting in your cupboard at home is going to do you no good for getting pictures. So let's get started. Now the first one, if you have a smartphone already, guess what? You have a camera. Is it a good camera? No. On a scale of one to 10, I would say 10 being the interchangeable lens, really good camera, I would say your smartphone would probably be three, maybe four. Generous, I'd say a five, but that's it. Why? Because it doesn't have a lot of functions and features that you really need to take good pictures. But guess what? If you have it with you, it's the best camera you can have at the time. If you've left everything else at home and you don't have a way of taking a picture, use your smartphone. I use my smartphone a lot. I use it when I'm with my grandson. I use it if I'm out for a hike and I'm not carrying a camera with me and I see something that I want a picture of. I use it if I want to take a picture of something that I just want to have a reference for. It works great for that. The next one I'm going to throw in with it is the GoPro. Now, the GoPro, it's tiny, it's easy to carry, it's very versatile, it does wonderful video, and it does okay still pictures. The problem with it is, like the smartphone, is that you don't have a lot of the functions and features that you really need. But it does work. Now jumping from this, which I always say is the not a camera but is a camera, is you move into a real camera. And that would be starting with a point and shoot camera. Now this one so happens to be a film point and shoot camera that I just grabbed off my shelf over there. But the digital ones are very similar. Similar in size, similar in features and functions in that it's point, push the button, and you get a picture. Some of them have more features on it. Some of them have more program modes and so on and so forth. But you are limited for what it can do. The lens is fixed. So you buy the camera and it comes with the lens that's attached to it. You cannot adjust the lens. You cannot add on to it. Now, side note, yes, there are add-ons and stuff you can put on it. They're not worth the money, so don't waste your money on it. But a point-and-shoot camera will work in a lot of situations. I don't recommend any. I recommend one specific type, and that is you can go and get a shockproof, drop-proof, waterproof point-and-shoot camera. Now, functions and features on it is limited. The big benefits, like the GoPro is, that you can use it when and where you want it. So if you want to go kayaking, you can take it with you. If it gets wet, who cares? It, you can throw it in your bike bag and go for a bike ride. And if your bike gets wet or anything like that, it's going to be perfect. You can take it out hiking, and if you happen to drop it, it won't be damaged. So I strongly, strongly recommend the shockproof, dropproof, waterproof ones because they do work and they are very versatile. Now, if you want a camera that's even more versatile than all of this stuff, I recommend an interchangeable lens camera. They can be either a DSLR or they can be a mirrorless camera. And what are they? They're a camera body that you can add different lenses to. The benefit to it is, is that it's very versatile. You can get up on a Saturday morning and you can put a fast lens on it and go to your daughter's soccer game and photograph her playing soccer. You can come back from that soccer game, put a different lens on it, and go out and do family pictures or wedding pictures. You can come home from that and put a wider lens on it and a faster lens and go out and do astral photography. And an interchangeable lens camera will allow you to do all of that with one camera body and the different lenses. None of the other systems here will allow you to do that as effectively and get the quality that you really want to get as an interchangeable lens camera. Now, word of warning before you get into it. No matter what camera body, no matter what manufacturer, no matter 
anything that you're buying, I tell people this over and over again, do your research first. Don't buy a camera body that you think is the camera body for you if you can't get the lenses that you're going to need. If you do astrophotography, you want wide and fast lenses. If your camera body does not have the ability to attach those lenses to it because the manufacturer doesn't make that lens, don't waste your money on it. I have a lot of people that come into my studio and they bought a different brand of camera than what I've recommended to them and they're really happy with it until they hit the point of, I can't get this lens to do this job. Yep, because they don't make it. There are secondary manufacturers that may make it, but sometimes they don't even do that. So be careful with what you're buying for your body because guess what? You may have a great body, but it still does no better than any of this because you can't get the right lenses for it. So until next time, have a great day. Get out there and take some amazing pictures and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye now. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on the like button, which is the thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when any new videos are uploaded. Thank you and have a great day.